Hello, beautiful star family. Super, super quick video. Just to reply to all that you guys are experiencing through the dream state right now. Yes, yes, yes. There was something that shifted probably about three to four days ago. So we know that in January, we were kind of buzzing up um, hard to sleep. There was a huge transmissions coming through as far as sound tones, frequencies, ringing, we know that that's just the new normal of hearing the ringing. It's more consistent. It's more uh, complex in being able to hear the variations of the tones. We do need to be careful with our field because as we are going through these um, influxes of these upgrades within our field, uh, it's kind of like our security system gets shut down a little bit while those upgrades happen. So we want to make sure there's not no hitchhikers or piggybackers on some of these frequencies. So it's just really good to have an even more advanced uh, spiritual hygienic practice right now at this time. To about four days ago, this really clicked in. It's even affecting the puppy <laughs> as far as how he's even just out for the night. It's almost kind of like, boom, lights out at night. Um, again, for about the last four days, four nights, where it's just uh, massive being taken to either the hubs or you're working with your spirit teams. But two, the, there's another thing that's going on I really want to tell you guys about is right now the south node is sitting in the gate 57 in your dream rave. So I want to kind of touch on what this is because if you are able to catch any of your dreams right now, one, there is massive assistance coming in for helping us acclimate and really process. So there's a lot of schooling going on right now. Usually when we just knock out at night and don't remember our dreams anymore, it's because we're really getting taken into uh, maybe higher learning stations or really working with the hubs or our guides. So there isn't as much lucidity as far as work that you are doing. Now, within this, when we understand the dream raves, it's going to show us where the shadow elements or any of the uh, the cube systems are still trying to keep us pulled back in. So it's going to show us where are we getting influenced by maybe potential energies that are trying to hook us back into the old paradigms or the old belief systems. I have certain characters in my dreams that I, I know when they show up that they are specifically being used to try to hook me and pull me in. So you're going to have to check for yourself. Is it uh, reoccurrent dreamscapes, reoccurrent individuals, reoccurrent themes that kind of keep you busy. So 57 is the gate of attunement. It's Libra in the, uh, uh, in the splenic center within your human design rave, but in the dream rave, the dream rave is sideways and it signifies an energy of really working with the storehouse of universal archetypes. So that's why you want to look at who are the archetypes playing out in your dreams right now. Um, so it's about true awareness of the sleep state and you are attuned to the turmoil in the dream or experience where the fears of the future are nurtured. So remember the splenic holds a lot of the energies of uh, uh, the primal fears that we have. So this one's going to be holding places where, where are you potentially still holding some of these hooks within this reality? It's in the line two currently right now. The line two is about possession. So is something holding on to you or is something that you are, are afraid of losing, right? So you wanna look at your dream themes again right now. Is it something that is potentially hanging on to you or that you are afraid to let go of that you are holding on to it. So this is something um, really special. If you're not familiar with the dream rave and how these influences are working with you, please definitely reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you look at where this is maybe playing out for you, um, especially if 57 is a gate that is already activated in your chart, then this is kind of being added to it. And it would be important to see what planets activated gate 57 for you in your rave chart so that you could see where that is maybe playing out or what theme is holding on to you. So with so much love, just please, yes, know that we are all going through this. A lot of you guys are talking about headaches, a lot of physical symptoms, so on and so forth. Yes, I too have been experiencing a lot of headaches. There was a period of time where the right hand side of the body was just really being influenced. And this is going to be 
uh, connected to a lot of the Draco seals, the, the masculine templates, the red cube systems, the red ray. And as the ruby ray dragons are coming in to shut that down, guess what? We're going to feel sometimes where some of those barbs and hooks have been trying to hold on to us and where we are getting freed from them now. So I love you guys so much, my amazing soul family. If you need any assistance at all during this time, this is really quite intense. Please either reach out to me or someone else that you trust that you can process this stuff through sometimes it's just great to have a friend to to connect to reach out to someone in the soul circle see if someone wants to just uh connect and and process some of this stuff out so that you have a safe space to really clear anything out that is ready to leave so that you can keep upgrading your field with the greatest of ease i love you guys